In this video we're going to show you the basic features of the Huawei Ascend from Cricut. First off we're going to go over all the buttons. Uh, if you're looking at it head on, on the left hand side there's a small little power button. If you tap that guy it'll brighten up your screen and just slide the, that little guy to the left to the right and that will unlock you. We'll go over the buttons at the bottom. We have a talk button right here. If you hit that that's going to pull up uh, your contact list as well as your recent calls and your favorite people. All that stuff is going to be controlled right there. So we hit end there. The menu button is going to pull up a few options on here, as you can see. Um, we have wallpaper, theme, search, notification, settings, stuff like that. Uh, in the middle we have a trackball. If you push the trackball, you can see all nine screens that are available on your Huawei. Right there and then just click on the one you want to go to and it'll pull it up. The uh, little arrow button right here, this is basically a back button. If you launch an application you don't want anymore, you just hit the back button, it goes away. On the far right hand side is going to be the physical end button, so if you're on a call and you want to end it, hit that guy, or just like the back button if you're in an application, if you hit the end button, it will turn that application off. On the right hand side of the phone we have a few more buttons. Um, up here we have our volume control, up and down. And on the bottom we have a camera button. If you push and hold that, that will open up your camera. And then you would just hold it like so, hit the button, and that will take the picture. On the top we have, underneath here, going to be your charging port as well as a 3.5, sorry, 2.5 millimeter headset jack so you can listen to MP3s or use a wired headset. Alrighty, so we're going to go over a few things in here, um, basic functions of the phone. If you'd like to make a call, you can either hit the talk button or this button right there. It looks like a phone, and that'll pull up your dial pad. Just dial with your hand, da, da, da. If you want to go back, just hit that guy. To start the call, once the number is in there, you can either hit the green talk button right here, or you can push this guy right here, and then to end the call, just hit that guy right there. I'll um, also show you, if you don't make any adjustments to the main screen of your Huawei, there's going to be a m button right here that's going to get you directly into messaging. Now mine's going to look a little bit different than yours because I do use a different program, but all of the functions are going to be the same. If you click on someone, it will uh, pull up all the text messages you have sent and received from this person. And if you want to do a new one, essentially just push your finger in on the text box and that will pull up a keyboard type whatever you want and then hit send and if you use a different program the functions are going to be the same it just may look a little bit different than what I'm showing you right here alright a few more things you're definitely going to want to know on this phone if you hit the menu button it's going to pull up all the apps that are available on the phone that you already have downloaded one of the first things you need to do is create a gmail account now I've already signed in so I can't show you how to do that but if you never have and you hit the Gmail button, it's going to give you two options, one of which says create, which would be to create a new Gmail account, or just sign in if you already have one. It's important that you have a Gmail account. If you don't, you are not going to have access to the marketplace. The marketplace is where you're going to get any apps for the phone, most of which are free. So I'm going to show you how to do the how to download an app. What you want to do is just click on the market button and it's going to come up with a list of things here. There's apps, games, and downloads. Downloads are going to be apps that you've already downloaded. If you've paid for them before, they're going to be saved under downloads as well so you don't ever have to pay for them again. So for the purposes of this demonstration, I'm just going to go to apps, I'm going to go to all applications, and top free. This is just going to show you all the, all the features that most people download the most. So I'm just going to download um, official eBay Android app. All you do is click on it, click install, click OK, and then at the top you can take your finger and scroll down and it's just going to show you the progress of your download. Once it's officially, once it's all done, you just click on it and it will open up. It'll also save an application in your main menu so you can just access it from there. And one final thing we're going to show you on the setup of this phone is how to set up a security lock on the phone so people can't get into it without knowing your password. How you're going to do that is click the menu button and it's going to bring up a list of options. Under settings, there's going to be an option for location and security. 
How uh, Gmail does their, lo or sorry, how Android does their lock patterns is instead of a number or letter combination, it's drawing a pattern. What you want to do, if you've never done this before, is set the unlock pattern. In this case, I'm just going to draw a line right there, and it says hit continue to continue, and you have to draw the exact same pattern to confirm that you did it right the first time. Once you do that, I always have require pattern locked and use visible pattern that way you can see where you're actually sliding on there. Once you have that, whenever you tap this button, it'll turn the lights off. If you tap it back on, it's going to require that you enter in that that lock pattern to get back into the phone. It is very important that you do not set up a security pattern until you have established your Gmail account. If you use the lockout pattern too many times the wrong way, you will be locked out of the phone and the only way to get back in is a Gmail account and password. If you have not set that up already, your phone is not going to work. And that is the basics of your Huawei Ascend from Cricket.